last bit was the first episode, obviously, and that's where we got the rundown of the game. And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by to trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Fair enough. Uh, see what I'm sure you can find something you like. Good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Fair enough. Um, see ya. quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. This to get the brown. Constellation, we have a lot to talk about. Do we? Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh... I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Probably. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not, wasn't in doubt. Don't 
don't seem to be persuasion chance. Two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. I've occasionally had my doubts about comp. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Don't know how he does it. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. Yeah. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Uh... We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yep. Good. <laughs> Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Yeah, I can do. Oh, 
Aa gidin. Spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. Something up here. Okay. <laughs> Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Mm, Sol system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything okay. for Sarah. You see, always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. I'll remember that. Um. Okay, that one. 
Cyberpunk. Why is it not? artist was trying to represent. I couldn't tell you, love. I can assure you this unprovoked attack. Hey, anything I can help you with? <coughs> I'm, I'm sure you can find something you like. I'm sure I will. So is this one? Go 132. Blimey. That's on there, good. Mm. Try to save for it. Logic's blood. That's not it. I mean, is that what I need to do?
in colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. You are cleared to land at Sidonia. <laughs> complain about landing here, but I have to admit, there is a sort of hidden beauty to the Martian landscape. and less than self-attempt. And I thought I had that inside. Persuasion. I do want persuasion. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pull one out to the blackest sea. I believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow marshal. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm not all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Um... Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You better guilt trip me. Uh, you need to make successful choices. Each choice is difficult. Oh, the dick is more. Guilt trip me, okay? Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? I'm just trying to keep my business afloat. That's enough. You either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. 
No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. No, oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Sing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Hey, be careful around the equipment. Don't want to lose an arm or something. So, I'll be thinking for a thousand. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot a picture. Captain Darren of Tom. the Frontier, Bane of the Fleet, Constellation's shining star of stars. Shall I then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny. But you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Mm -hmm. yeah, it's you come. won't be disappointed! <clears throat> Manage your curve, here's a change with me. Different curve, different skills, yeah, sure.
don't really see it on Venus. It says go there. Be the way to do it. So you bring me all the way back here, really? Oh, 
Yeah, do what you like. You think I think? There's another way I can do it. I think my ship's strong enough to take three of them on.
too far away. close to it, you have to get it. Doctor Lemon, you both there? Sure.
she's never there when you need her. Get the fuck off the roof.
Swap that. We got no rounds for this. Hmm. Replace. to respond. 
Ghost. Not one 
trying to do. Take him as a thank you. Now, I have a modified Grendel. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. It doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is.
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Yeah, sure. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Mm -hmm. Until later. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been and you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunction. Oh, God, didn't mean to skip that. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Good to meet you. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh... Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontiers are roll. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. True. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Cute. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I don't think I do.
Nice some piercing boots. If it's because I'm working on my helmet. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Got anything you need to offer? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll call you. I'm sure you can find something you like. Probably. I'll use a lot less what I've got. No. 
Well, this one would be a good one to have written of missiles. Give me one. I think it's it's not my ship. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. I'm sure you can find something you like. Thousand for even the
Alright, well, I think I have to. Gems. Right, I've got to go to Olympus first. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. Sure. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planet Fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. Kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gale Bank. We'll be heading there. That's not a problem. Need some work done? Not yes. You. Can I get an invoice? It's oh, pretty dangerous out in space for? these days. Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written at night, it could be on a loaf of bread. Order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. 
You're Sam Co. Marshall will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbang vault. You better see if we can help me with the situation more. I'll take a look around. It's a good... How about I just show you, instead of tell you? Do what you like. To stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. No. Never a dull moment. I don't think that's supposed well, to happen. I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different perception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. Uh... They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. You in the bank. The I'm sending in a negotiator. So excuse. Hands where I can see him. And don't try to the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Mm. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. <coughs> so tell me, stranger. How do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Oh, God. Am 
Well, you better listen up. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? A decent ranger with the way you handled that. You wrecked him. Those guys are scared. I can tell. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now the vines are on. All right. Let's get back in the gal and see if we can get those wires. Okay. We'll take it from here. Late. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Big All bundles. Right, let's see.
Need to find those maps. So long. I'm quite honest with me, I don't think we're in the right place. The Rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. That old mule saw this coming. Now we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Uh, we really gotta do this. Yep. And why do you have to be so pushy, huh? You're not wrong. I know, it's just... It's personal. All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh... Cold tradition. All right. Shall we? Yeah, let's get moving. decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? You realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than fit. Come on. Okay. This was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Uh, 
Um, so. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. And you wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Um... You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. You really believe that, don't you? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I get you out of my hair, fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. See if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. My brother-in-law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. The place looked amazing, but if I have to look at one more vacation photo, I'm going to clean his clock. Okay, that's how you felt about that one.
speed up of the ambition of the May. I'm just a bit struck a helmet.
What's this one? Nickel. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grab something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Mm. Oh, really? Let's hear it. So I've got to do... Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. <laughs> Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. So it's not the shot.
fucking month. Have I really got persuaded him again? I think that's far enough. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Now you got past me. Grab something from that. Now, let. Oh, really? Let's hear it. You got past a few rookies. That's all. Don't get bent out of shape. I guess we'll see. We will. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! This is going to be... Damn it! Just shoot everything! I can just leave you guys to it. I killed you. Bleed up. Okay, your servants, Captain. Just what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. 
This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. History of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend. Back to the dollar. That's the one we'll do next. There's a crew there. Get him, boys. Yes. You needed something. I wonder if that lady's gonna try and catch it and miss it. Oh, not today. Jump. 
looks like hell. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold right. your breath for I a was really long, long time, time. <clears throat> right? But um, I got in trouble. All so, right, yeah. this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Yes, what? Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. We can be sure she'll keep our teams crossed and going through. Howdy. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Uh... Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, oh, get blah, out of here. Blah, blah. Good luck. Good luck. 
Just shut up. Sis Duff Marines are the best of the best. I haven't seen my family in a while. The mission takes priority. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. Mm -hmm. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Yeah. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You have to understand that my agitation with the Crimson Fleet comes from personal experience. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Is they? Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Wonderful. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Well, I know. Is there anything else I can answer before you proceed? We just want to get out of here. Back. I am the moth to your flame, the magnet to your fridge. Alright, so we need to go to sit down here and then I can save it. Could do a few side missions, gets me leveling up.